Christian Homework asks kids to explain how to make their friends straight. Recently, students in a Christian middle school in Kentucky, USA, were assigned homework where they must outline how they would use biblical morality to speak to a hypothetical gay friend and try to wow. persuade them to stop being gay. Wow. The syllabus, the syllabus states essay, write a letter to a friend of your same gender who's struggling with homosexuality. Struggling with homosexuality. The assignment's stated objective are to persuade the quote unquote friend that God's design for them is good, that homosexuality will not satisfy them, and that the Christian and that the Christian who's speaking to them loves them, even if they deprove of the gay person's quote unquote lifestyle. A parent of one of the students given this assignment took a screenshot and sent it to JP Davis, an LGBT activist, where he shared it on Twitter. Uh, Darren A. Long, uh, superintendent of the school, said the assignment was taken out of context. Uh, uh, according to the statement, quote, this particular assignment in context was how a person could discuss homosexuality with a friend from a biblical perspective with compassion and love. Okay, let's read the, we, we could dissect it ourselves. Do you want to read the email? The, yes. Uh, the website, yeah, okay. No, so this is not here email. is, this a, is the website. A the course. This the... is the course. Okay, this is the actual assignment. So we could judge ourselves. So maybe they're right. Yes. Maybe like, we're not trying to convert you. We're just trying to be loving to you. So this is the actual assignment. You can see a picture of it, somebody. Um, okay, let's read it. Um. So... It's titled Letter to a Homosexual Friend. Um, essay, write a letter to a friend of your same gender who's struggling with homosexuality. Assume you have known this friend since kindergarten, that you go to the same church, and you have been pretty good friends over the years until now. This friend is your same age. The aim of your letter should be to lovingly and compassionately speak truth to, to the person you're talking to in a way that does not approve of any sin instead Oof. in all caps try to persuade them of the goodness of god's design for them why is this and, capitalized this is all caps why are you yelling yeah. this part out <laughs> what the hell okay uh, and then it continues in at least eight sentences try to show the friend from the bible reason and your personal friendship that God's design for them is good, that homosexuality will not bring them satisfaction, what? that you love them even if you don't, even though you don't approve of their lifestyle. Wait, they lied. Wait. They said they're not trying to, wait, they just said they're not trying to, assignment is not going to try to make them straight. The assignment was just to show them love. The assignment literally tries to make them straight. Like, what are you talking about? It's right there. Why are they lying? We have access to the assignment. Do you not? Do you think we can't read? Like it literally does what you said it doesn't do. Like why? Why are you lying about something that we could all go check? I don't yeah. understand. Wait, and so then there was another page of this that was really bad. Can you click on the little arrow on the left? I think that'll take us there. Okay. There okay. So then here's the the grading rubric. Um. So you get fifteen points. Oh wait, if the no, letter no, no, no. Before before, before you before you read that, this whole assignment has 20 possible points, okay? So you could get up to 20 points if you do everything correctly in this assignment. So let's see how the points work. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Um, actually, let's start from the bottom. So you get six points if the letter communicates at least one truth with little love or clarity without reference to scripture ah. or the use of logic and persuasion. You get nine points if the letter communicates some truth mixed with some error with little love or clarity without reference to the scripture underlined, utilizing some logic with no persuasion. You get 12 points if the letter communicates truth in a way that lacks love or clarity, loosely based on scripture and logic to persuade. And you get 15 points and above if the letter communicates truth lovingly and clearly from scripture with obvious logical argument to persuade. So scripture is a bonus. By the way, it kind of shows that scripture has higher points than love. Look at this. So the one that has love and no scripture has lower points than the one that has scripture 
and no love. <laughs> you see that? The mm -hmm. nine point, the, this nine point one has a love, but no scripture. The twelve point one has scripture, but no love. But the fifteen, the fifteen point one has both. But scripture comes above love. <laughs> Wait, and this is so clearly <laughs> like about biblical homophobia. Yeah, it's, it makes it so so secular rarity is saying, oh, so the Bible is homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, is it like, okay, am I misreading this? Does, not, does it not seem like they are saying that love is less important than you citing scripture? Is that not what it sounds like? If that's what it sounds like to me. The, the key point, the most, the points for scripture is huge here, basically. Unbelievable. It's so crazy. This is so disgusting. Yeah, like. I'm, I, I'm still not over this part where everything is in not not in all caps except this part where they like try to persuade them of the goodness of god's design but basic oh my god like they're yelling this part like the the, the most important part is that you're messing with god's the, the message mm -hmm. is that you being gay goes against god's design this is like they're implicit they're not saying it directly like why would you keep why would they keep telling a gay person that God's design is good? That means that your very nature is challenging God's beautiful design. That's why they keep telling gay people about God's good design. Imagine how insulting that is. Imagine how disgusting that is. Like, hey, imagine if you say like, hey, I'm X. Like, oh, you're X? Can I tell you about God's good design? Like, okay. And? Like you're challenging, you're challenging nature. You're challenging everything that is good. Basically, that's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. You're breaking the fabric of the universe. The good, everything that is wholesome and good and beautiful. Your very existence is against that. That's the message here. This is just like chock full of such like, I don't know the whole the whole lifestyle thing the whole gay lifestyle thing it just gives me the flavor of like 1990s homophobia like it's not a lifestyle like this is just who i am and it's who i'm attracted to like it yeah so many aspects of this i don't know especially as someone I mean, who grew up in a christian environment as a lgbt kid it really sucks and there are definitely lgbt kids who are part of these classes that did have to go through this and so they're being taught that who they happen to like it will never satisfy them and they they are against god's design it's so heartbreaking yeah yeah you should like you know if your god's design by the way, why did they have to talk to their, you know, I wish I was in that class. I would like, I could write something. I could write something that would get zero points. You're like, I'm not trying to de-gay my friend. I'm trying to make my straight friends gay. <laughs> True no, I would... design. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, can we clap for the next news? Wait, wait. Um, Hold on, read this one, door not ahead. Door not ahead is saying, I bet after sex, homosexuals say, that was good, therefore, it's good. Checkmate, theists! <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.